Hey Siri, who wrote the first Batman comic? Hey Alfred. Who wrote the first story for Batman? Question mark. Bill Finger is widely considered to be the creator of the original Batman character. Although Bob Kane is generally credited as the creator of the iconic character, Finger made many crucial contributions to the character's conception. Finger wrote the first Batman story that appeared in Detective Comics number 27, which was published in 1939. This is what you actually want from Siri, right? Salitame and welcome back to another absolutely random video where I'm going to show you how you can add ChatGPT to your iPhone in five easy steps. First of all, you do all these things in your iPhone. You don't need a computer for that, just your iPhone. I will link everything down below in the description. First, go to ChatGPT and create an account or login. If you've done that, you go to the API keys and create a secret, a new secret key, okay? So you can see that here, I have already created one, but I'm going to create another one. I copy that. Then you add this shortcut, which is called, Hey Alfred, you go ahead and click on these three, three dots. So first you go and change the name from Hey Alfred to whatever you like. I mean, you can keep Hey Alfred if you like that, but you can also say Hey Samantha or Siri Plus or Siri Pro or whatever you like. It's just important for you to know that the shortcut will react to this voice prompt, okay? So this is why this is um, important. You can do that here by clicking on it and then rename it. And then you go ahead and Put the link you have copied here, okay? So, this is that. And if you've done that, then you go a little bit down here for ask for a text with, I said yes, Master Wayne, uh, because I'm just a huge Batman fan, so this is why, why I did that, but you can also say yes or huh or whatever you like. Um, because this will be the answer when you uh, when you have put in the voice prompt like hey alfred then you know that the shortcut is actually running right now okay if you've done that that's basically it so you click on done and then you go back again and then you can test it okay you can uh, again say like hey siri in what year was the iphone released i found this on the web so this is exactly not that what you're looking for right what you want is that Hey Alfred. Yes, Master Wayne. In what year was the iPhone released? The original iPhone was released in 2007. So, that's exactly what you want, right? It also does this. Hey Alfred. Yes, Master Wayne. Can you help me find a YouTube title? for a video in which I explain how to integrate ChatGPT to your iPhone as Siri. How to integrate ChatGPT virtual assistant to your iPhone as an alternative to Siri. Could be a possibility, right? So you can see that uh, this is quite interesting and quite useful. However, that being said, you have to know that this API goes to an older version of ChatGPT. Okay, it is not the actual version right now, but still it's better than Siri. However, in June, I guess, it's the WWDC, which is a worldwide developer conference by Apple, and it is rumored that they will present their, their new Siri. Um, Tim Cook said that AI is going to be very crucial for, for Apple and the future products, so it's quite possible that they will show a new advanced Siri in the WWDC. And maybe then you won't need this integration, but until then you can have a little bit of fun with it. All right, so hope this helped and see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.